Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a lot to talk about today. We got to talk about the new filters with the new update in FIFA Ultimate Team, uh, the patch notes, pitch notes, whatever they're called. We have the new vote to talk about between Bernardo Silva, Bernardo Silva, Isco, and Anaki Williams. And also, we have to talk about how to grind these upgrade SBCs at the highest level efficiency and best time efficiency and coin value there's a couple different ways that i'm going to talk through grinding the 85 to 92 which is the one you should be doing i think gives out better packs and the one player packs that it gives out for doing the individual squads in here these are juiced man open a lot of these tonight on the live stream that link is down below in the description if you want to go with that I didn't feel like it was necessary to make a whole video on this. I'm just going to talk through it quickly. There are other full videos out there if you do want to check them out. Um, but since there's only three days of that left, I figured I would just keep it short and sweet on that. And then also talk about some Thursday flipping investments already since it is Wednesday. So it's going to be a busy video today, but we're going to try to keep it all concise, clear, and short. First thing I want to talk about is the new vote that we had today in FIFA Ultimate Team. That is between Inaki Williams, Isco, Bernardo Silva for a weak foot boost. This SBC is going to come out on Thursday. I feel like it's going to come down between Isco and Bernardo Silva. I voted for Bernardo Silva purely because of his player moments card that came out during Team of the Year. I loved that card. If this guy gets a five-star weak foot upgrade, I know a lot of people are saying, hey, they're probably only going to go from three to four. I doubt that. I think they might go three to five because they've been going all out with this promo. Why would they not go all out with a weak foot upgrade here on these players? Since the whole point of this vote is weak foot boost nominees. So I really hope that Bernardo Silva gets it, but I feel like it could be close with Isco as well. We just had Dembele, so I don't know if all my Real Madrid guys... Another Real Madrid special card is a really crazy thing. It's like Real Madrid summer heat promo is what we're having right now in, in foot. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but I feel like it's between those two guys just because of popularity and because of uh, who we would want to see in the game. I think a lot of people voted for Silva, but I think it's going to be close. That's going to be an interesting one uh, soon. That actually did, in fact, touch on the market today. And there were some prices that were affected because of it. Premier League right mids. Definitely took a hit in price, especially our favorite overpowered card in the game, Gucci Headband. This guy went from like, he was 790 last night, I think, down to like 700k flat today, just kind of dropping off in price all day long. Uh, Marez's team of the season card uh, was down a decent amount today. I think he's like 400,000 coins right now. He was over 400k in the morning. I think he dropped like 50 or 60k. Yeah, he's in the 300s now. Uh, just this is what happened last week when we had the Usman and the St. Maximin vote came out as well. There was just a lot of panic selling once that SBC was released or when the vote was released in anticipation of what was to come with those cards and that SBC possibly coming. So if Bernardo Silva does not come, are you going to see a pop up on these in some of the market? If Isco wins, yes, maybe you see Mares go up a little bit. I wouldn't think that it would be a crazy amount in my opinion. Um, but maybe a slight bit of a rebound on some of those cards. Salah was down today as well. Uh, a lot of just Premier League right mids and possibly right mids from around the rest of FIFA as well. Just were kind of down today. You know, this one's right here at 800K. He was like 850K just a couple days ago or yesterday, I think. So we did see some market movements on some of those cards today in FIFA Ultimate Team. Um, and then I also just want to talk about Thursday flipping really fast and also what content could come today. I think last week on Wednesday was when we got the Paulinho SBC, the, the silver stars or whatever they call them. Silver star. Yeah. Summer heat, silver star. This SBC has 15 hours remaining. So we might get another one of these today. Don't know exactly who they would do. Um, but we might see another, uh, SBC that requires 283 or even 84 rated squads to get a 74 rated silver player, which is very interesting. So we'll see if EA continues this today. And then I think they will re up the bronze and silver upgrades as well because, oh wow, wait, those are not the right ones. Do these bronze and silver upgrades require risk? No, they don't. 20 days. All right, they're out for 20 days. So we're chilling on those. I don't think anything else is expiring tomorrow except for, except for, um, the Paulinho SBC, I think that's the only thing that is actually expiring. Maybe one of the daily SBCs as well. Summer Heat Voting Day and Foot 11. So I would expect a, um, I got to do this 86 plus SBC today, actually. Wow, it's only out for a day. Uh, but I would expect a tradable pack supply SBC as well because SBC fodder right now is through 
the freaking roof. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but SBC fodder is insanely expensive right now at the moment because um, right now the upgrade packs, th think about it this way, right? The upgrade packs that are out in FIFA Ultimate Team will give you 84 rated cards or higher. And most people are doing the 85 to 92 SBC. And a lot of the SBCs that keep coming out, Vinicius, um, Dembele, Ribery, they have some higher rated squads in there. 85, 86, 87, 88 rated squads. So you're seeing a lot of this high rated fodder um, stay, not lower, but stay at a more subdued price because it's getting that constant supply from people not having to buy it as much because they're grinding the upgrade SBCs. But this low rated fodder, as we get SBCs today, we had like an 81 rated squad, I think, for that 86 plus SBC. Um, a lot of this low rated fodder is going up and up and up in price because people are doing like 85 rated SBCs with their 85 to 92 cards. They're going out and finishing off those squads by buying 82 and 83 rated players. This stuff is skying, skying. 81s, even like 80 rated cards, like over a thousand coins. It's going to take a lot of supply on the market somehow to, you know, quelch these prices. And a lot of SBCs are going to have to go away, in my opinion, for this to happen. I really wonder with the market looking like this, if EA is going to be more inclined or less inclined to re-release the 85 to 92 SBC for another six days after this. Uh, so again, if you're trying to craft that SBC, I'm really not sure how much longer both of these are going to be out. A lot of people have been saying, hey, I want to craft these and stack some of them up for batch three, which is going to be in packs in two weeks or 10 days. I think that's a fantastic idea. I would honestly craft the 84 double because if you look at some of the team of the season squads, right? Like if we go back over to flipping really fast and look through some of the tot squads, like how many cards do we have that are under 92 rated? You have a lot of 94, 95, 93 rated cards, like the usable ones that you would want to pack. I guess you could pack a tall in that SBC from like League One. If we go to Syria, how many 92s do we have in here? Um, we have none in the starting 11. We've got Quadrado and then below. So like the, the 85 to 92, yes, you could save it, but I feel like a lot of those, you probably want to do the 84 double plus. That will give you your best chance at packing maybe a high level TOTS card or just getting a TOTS card in general um, that you might want to use. Now, if you're going purely for fodder, you could keep the 85 to 92 and try a few of those. But as you see, a lot of the team of the seasons that you would try to get from batch three are going to be higher than 92 rated. So that cap there kind of sucks, I guess, a little bit in, in, in that sense. But the 84 double plus does not have that cap. Um, so maybe you want to try to stack a few of these up. So let's talk about crafting these, right? I don't really do bronze pack method. I did 50,000 coins. No, I did 40,000 coins of bronze pack method today. Opened up a bunch of BPM. Um, I sent all those bronzes to my club. I did silver upgrades with like all of those. And now I've gotten a lot of my silvers into these gold upgrades and I'm crafting, right? Is this enjoyable for me? Nah, not really. This is not how I like to do upgrade packs, especially on a time constraint. That's what I want to talk about today in kind of going over what's the best way to craft these packs in the days remaining that they're out. It's really just boiling down to A, how many coins you have and B, how much time you have because there's multiple ways to do this at a very coin efficient rate or a semi coin efficient rate if you have less time. So it just depends on what, how much time you have. I don't have a ton of time to sit here for hours upon end and just grinding bronze packs into silver and well bronze packs into bronze upgrades into silver upgrades and then into the 85 to 92 i have kind of a hybrid method i've thought about and and kind of gone for and it seems to be working i think pretty well i'm going to dive into it more later this week but i want to share that with you guys so the the crafting from scratch method you can sit here open like 20 to 30 to 40 thousand coins with a bronze pack method and just basically what that is, is you're, you're spamming bronze packs as fast as you can, sending everything to the club and listing up any duplicates that you may get that are players and quick selling the rest. And then you're basically opening that. You probably want to do like 40, 50 K worth if you have the funds to do that, because that should, that should craft you a decent amount of those 85 to 92 packs. So basically what you do with this is you open a bunch of bronze packs, you, you stock your club with bronze cards. And what you'll do from there is you'll go to the SBC section. You can sell some of the cards that sell on the market. A lot of bronzes right now are selling for inflated prices. 
uh, center backs, right wings, left wings. A lot of these cards are selling because people need them to do the 85 to 92. But the reason why we're doing the bronze pack upgrade is to at least put those in the club. Sorry, not bronze pack upgrade, bronze pack method. Now you have all these bronze cards in your club. If you want to grind this from bronze upgrade to silver upgrade to the 85 to 92, be my guest. Put your bronze cards in here. Maybe go sell center backs, right wings, left wings, right mids, left mids, and some of those outside backs as well. You can check through some of those tradable cards if you want to try to make some money back. What I did was I just was going in here, squad builder, going to bronze, going to um, rating low to high, and squad building and then just doing it this way this is how i was crafting these packs earlier today now it's not very easy for me for me right now because i don't have a lot of chemistry which is an issue once you get down to a pretty bare club but that's where i'm at and i was not really regarding anything with tradable value i was just submitting it all and then bang there's a bronze upgrade pack that gives me three silver players which i then can go open that pack get the silver players out of this pack here so after you rinse all your bronzes into silvers, you open the pack here. And honestly, I'm skipping all these pack animations. There are some bronze team of the week cards, but if you pack one, yippee. Just quick sell it and take your 10K, honestly. So boom, I send my silvers to the club. Then what I do from there is once you open all of those that you've made, you go back to squad building challenges. I would favorite these SBCs to make it quicker for you to find. And then you go to the silver upgrade, use squad builder. You go to quality, you go to silver, you go, I've been doing untradeable and rating low to high just to maybe save me some money and maybe go try to sell some of these silvers that sell for league SBCs at some point, uh, which I think silvers aren't really high that right high that much right now because a lot of uh, league SBCs are very, very expensive um, because of all the gold cards that are up in price, like non-rare golds. So that's basically the long way to craft this SBC because what I did right there was I opened bronze packs to the bronze upgrade, to the silver upgrade, and to the gold. The, the silver upgrade gets you four rare gold, non-rare gold players, which you can then submit into the 85 to 92. So that's kind of like the long way to do it. And you can sell your um, bronze cards that you pack tradable uh, during BPM to make some more coins off of that. That's like the most coin efficient way to do it, not the most time efficient way. So that's set one. That's option number one. Option number two is you can go here do bronze pack method still stock your club with bronzes spend it doesn't it only takes like 15 20 30 minutes you can rip like five of these packs per minute honestly like okay maybe not five but you can you can at least ra like rip three right rip one send it to the club maybe you have to claim some coins quick sell the rest that probably took me like what 10 seconds right there 12 seconds, boom, I go open another one, do the same things, you know, spam through the pack. So you can open a decent amount. This is not gonna take you that long, but you're filling your club with uh, bronzes. You're filling your club with bronzes. And then instead of going and then putting those into the bronze upgrade, like we did in the other method, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go to the market and uh, we'll talk about these new filters in a second, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to gold. You're gonna go to gold. Either pick a nation that is an off nation that would have a lot of uh, non-rares or pick an off league, right? Like, let's go let's go Super League, right? Super League rares. How much are these selling for? Super League non-rares are like 850 coins right now. Okay, it is nighttime. We're going to get on some bids, right? What I would do is start bidding on all of these cards from the same league and just go and mass bid 600, 700 coins per card on a lot of these. And you only need seven, right? You only need seven gold non-rares to put into that SBC. So then what you're doing is you're paying what? It's like 600, 700 coins times uh, seven. So what is that? Get my calculator out for the boys. Uh, times 600 coins times seven. Let's say it's like 700 coins times seven. That's like 5K, right? So you're paying 5K out of pocket and then you are putting whatever bronzes that you have in your club into the rest of that squad for the 85 to 92. So I'm going over here. I'm going to one of these squads right here. And I'm going to go to, I don't know what the best way to craft these is. Honestly, probably just start up here and go, uh, probably go gold, probably go gold and go, we'll go low to high. Let's do this gold, low to high. And then I try to put in some from the same nationality or same league. Like I see some La Liga guys and some uh, Prem guys that I'm putting in right now because you need chemistry. Chemistry is big, 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 big for this. So maybe you put in guys from the same league that you have in your club 
and then boom. So I've noticed I've got four spots in here that I could put bronzes in. So then I go to bronze on this, low to high. Try to find some, again, similar nationalities. England is a very, very popular one or a lot of those guys from the lower English leagues get a lot of links. So then boom, I need one more England lad. Alfie Whiteman, what a guy. Tottenham Hotspur legend, let's go. Uh, put Alfie Whiteman in there. Boom, got a lot of goalkeepers. Chemistry is the big issue here, and I'm, I'm not going to have enough chemistry on this, honestly, to finish this off. But this is, just for, this is just for showing you, right? So basically, once you get the chemistry on something like this, then bang, you're good to go. And that is how you can craft it in the lesser time period, right? Instead of, instead of going, basically the difference between, between the two methods is you're saving yourself time, you're spending a few more coins. So that's like the rich man version of doing these packs is spending a bit more time to go bid on the players, but you're spending less time than you are making all those packs to open, to open the bronze upgrades, to then rinse all those into the silver upgrades, and then go to the 85 to 92. Instead, all you have to do is buy the bronze packs, stock your club with some bronzes, and then go buy the gold players, the, the non-rare gold players. That's the method that I'm gonna be working on later this week because it is faster. I don't have as much time to do this, so that is faster for me. So those are kind of the two ways that you can do it. And again, if you're somebody who wants to grind it hardcore, you can absolutely make, like, do these packs for very cheap per pack because you'll make coins back from bronze pack method from the duplicates that you'll get to the center backs, left wings, right wings that you can sell and list up on the market. Um, you'll make some, you'll make coins for this for sure. Uh, just from opening the bronze packs from those players. And then, you know, you'll be money ahead in that way. But it's again, it just comes down to a lot of things in FIFA, whether you value your money, your coins or your time, whichever one you have more of or less of, you kind of have to do the balance there, figure that out for yourself and go from there so that's what i want to talk about with the, the method and grinding that i didn't feel like it deserved its own video at least for me um because there's only three days left and i feel like i can explain it right there in a short amount of time so i know a lot of you guys wanted that so there's that the last thing i want to talk about i shouldn't say this for the end of the video but i did this new quality filter this is this is huge this is massive now this is something that other ea titles like madden madden ultimate team has had this for a long time and it's it's awesome to see it finally in FIFA. So what happens is basically you can go over the quality filter now that just made this update go live today on, on the Xbox, on the consoles, PlayStation. It was already on, play, on PC. But you click X or uh, A and it'll open up all the qualities. You can actually search by letter and stuff like that or just go by, go by all. The interesting thing here, and you saw me probably clicking around in the menus, have some misclicks. This is where the misclicks come in, right? A lot of people think, yo, I just can't sort by all bronze, all silver, or all gold anymore. That's false. Using the right stick, you can search bronze, silver, and gold, or special still. But once you click A on that, what we're used to doing when we go in here is we used to click A, and then we had to click over left, right to search between our quality, right? Now, you don't have to. You just use the, the, left, the right stick, to go left or right, and then you pick your quality. If you wanna go the old fashioned way, or you press A or X to get inside of here. But seriously, this is a massive, massive W. I see a lot of things coming from this right here. I see a lot of opportunity, and also a lot of potential for mishap coming with this new addition to the game. This is possibly gonna be a place where we might see card designs and types of cards leaked minutes before a promo would come out. Uh, because this is totally something EA would do, right? Is where they come in here and they were looking for these card designs like, oh man, next year when it's like the first promo of the year and we're looking for scream cards, right? There's not going to be a lot of cards in here. So if one pops up, it's going to be pretty easy to see. And it's very possible it's something like that where EA is adding these cards to the database. So they might have to be smarter next year in FIFA 21 and figure out how they're going to actually not do that, I guess. Um, and it's interesting headliners and headliner street cards have two different items as well. That's pretty interesting. Um, but that's one kind of problem thought that I guess I have with this already and how that could affect FIFA 21. Uh, a lot of people have asked me, is this going to hurt sniping? No, it's not going to hurt sniping because you can still search by, uh, search by the normal way. And still like, if you want to search Mbappe or any, any card in this game that you want to go and try to snipe. You can search it the same way and sniping is still going to search the same way. Um, I was honestly a bit curious to see icon 
and icon moments included in here. As somebody who trades icons a lot, is this going to change icon trading at all, the 59th method? Yes, a little bit. The biggest change for all of this is there's going to be so many filters that you can create to try to snipe players, more specific filters than ever. It just gives a lot of options for sniping that kind of stuff, especially earlier on in the year with like silvers and got, um, gold commons is what I'm trying to say. Common golds, like at the start of FIFA when non-rare right backs are going for this amount, but the rares are going for a certain amount, like less or if rares are going for more and commons are going for less like when we're doing upgrades during team of the season team of the year it's going to be massive for that time frame and stuff like that so it's just going to be you're going to be able to find cards a lot easier a lot quicker and the number one thing that i feel from this is going to be affected at least for me as somebody who lists a lot of cards for lazy buyers i feel like we're going to have less lazy buyer sales in fifa 21 because of this filter, because now people don't have to go and click special and try to find the card they're trying to find, especially with compare price glitches being fixed and a lot of that stuff being fixed. Now they say, okay, and maybe the casuals on FIFA won't figure this out for the next for the next couple days or, or for the first few weeks of maybe FIFA 21 when they come back on the game, but they're gonna figure it out sooner or later, right? Because instead of pressing A or X to go inside of here, they're gonna they're gonna stumble upon this this method of looking at cards differently. And I think you're going to see less lazy buyers in FIFA 21, which sucks a little bit because, you know, I'm, I'll be honest, I made a lot of profit off of lazy buyers because of how some more, more special cards come out of this game. It's harder to search for those special cards. A lot of them look the same, so you can kind of play off that sometimes. Um, and just a lot of people don't get are not going to get confused as much with these new search filters. But this is honestly a dub and it's going to be the biggest dub ever when you're searching your club as well. When you go to search your club and you need a team and leak item, you're not going to have to search special and go, you know, filter through all your different pages of special cards that you have. You can just search for gold team of the week. Bang. There's your list of players and you do that. So that's really cool. The ease and the accessibility that this is going to bring is fantastic and it's massive. Um, but I do think the biggest thing that I'm curious about is the lazy buyers and just about like the icon filters there's going to be a lot of icon filters that get interesting this year and i'm also curious to see how this is going to affect like auto buyers and auto bidders now i know that's against ea's terms of service i'm not for those but a lot of people use those and i'm, I'm just sure it's going to be a quick update for a lot of those guys that run auto bots and stuff if you guys do not know there's bots and stuff that are on this market that snipe cards especially earlier on and more during the more hype times of this game so I'm sure it's a simple programming thing for a lot of those those applications and bots that are definitely not good to use and you will get banned if you use them on this game. So just, I'm not saying to use them at all. I'm, I'm actually speaking against them. But uh, I just think that it's, if this was something that EA maybe did to try to deter those, I feel like it's not gonna really deter those bots at all. And it might even make sniping some cards like during a promo like team of the season or team of the year when you have when you have cards coming onto the market right away at a very low price range and they're extinct like the first day a promo friday you know like when uh team of the season so far adama treori came out and everybody was sniping this man sniping 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 he got the price range update he boomed up obviously went down from everybody that started listing but i think those snipes are going to be harder to win with bots and with people that have shortcuts using the web app being able to use these filters as well and get to those players really, really fast. Otherwise than before they were using other methods where sometimes you had to use a filter with like a minimum buy now price with a maximum buy now price to filter out other cards. You're not going to have to do that as much anymore. And I think that's the biggest difference that we'll see with that inside of FIFA ultimate team regarding the, um, regarding this, how you, how we search the transfer market and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.